Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Now this one is a little bit different from previous videos which have basically been based on Terraria. Now our series, Master Mode series has been doing pretty well recently so I thought I'd make this little video here with some Last Day on Earth survival footage in the background and for those of you who are new to Last Day on Earth survival would know this as Last Day on Earth Dead War as the game had a name change in the last couple of weeks I think it should be, last couple of weeks, yeah sounds about right um, which, not too much of a fan of, but can't say it at least now, I have got a lot of content planned that I'm going to go through in this video um, mainly based on last day on earth, as you can probably tell by the gameplay but there is a 100 day survival video coming to the channel goes along the lines of the recent crave of 100 day videos um, this is going to be for our old game here last day on our survival and past that once that has been uploaded or before that perhaps who knows there will be a hun uh, more not 100 days but a last day on earth video series going up which will take place as a paid so paid account paid win but paid account um from that i have been going on for two plus years i think at this point going on for quite a while and thinking that's going to be pretty good for the channel and speaking of last day on earth we've also got other games like seven days to die which is a another zombie survival game it's first person unlike last day on earth here which is third person open world survival, survival game some of those dies is and thinking of getting that out here up on the channel it's a pretty good game pretty good survival game not gonna spoil it too much so you guys can actually be more surprised by it if you have not seen it already now with our survival here um, I'm thinking continue it for now maybe in live streams maybe in videos um, maybe doing a different series um, with different seed, maybe a seed that I've got planned to use so we can get that going if you guys want to see it, now if you do want to see it make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that do get uploaded here on the channel and if you want to show your support make sure to like the video and comment down below your favourite hmm, let's see, your favourite jelly flavour, that's right I want to hear your favourite flavour of jelly and why Alright, now there is a new Twitch channel coming. Well, new Twitch account coming to our channel for live streaming. So if you guys do want to head on over to there, which there will be a link in the description below, go check out those maybe once a week on the weekends, uh, UTC plus at 9 30 time, um, or a ACDT, I think it is. Um, and I mean, what last thing on Earth? 100 days? Maybe, just maybe, if you guys want to see, there will possibly some sneak peeks coming out. Hey, see some sneak peeks of the unique and more, as how we put this, highlights of the video. Now I'm not gonna put too much up because I do want some surprises to see what we had. Um, I'm also thinking, along with the Twitch channel, to make a Apex Survivor gaming channel for non-survival related games, such as Asphalt 9, Call of Duty genres, and all of that, because I know there's some pretty good games out there that aren't survival related, which I uh, do want to video. Now, if anyone does have any videos, idea, game suggestions for Last Turn of Trial, or any other games out there, Make sure to leave them in the comment section down below, as well as any challenge ideas for Terraria that we could do with this master mode world or any other world, to be fair. If the 100 day survival video for Last Day on Earth does do really well, I might consider doing a continuation of that 100 day survival as maybe a series. So, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe two, 200 days or a thousand days, ten thousand days, who knows? Maybe we'll become a full fledged series like the my paid account which will soon come to the channel. Who knows? It could be. It could be. 
if you guys want to see that though. Yeah, again, make sure to like the video, comment down if you don't want to see that, or anything different to that, similar to that, anything at all. Now, I'll also be doing some tutorials down for both Last Day on Earth and Terraria, coming roughly soon, if you guys do want to see that. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe, you know what to do if you don't want to see that. Well, comment, like, and subscribe, you know what to do. So, if any tutorials will not be bad, they will be actually decent tutorials on how to start the game, how to end the game, and how to continue the game. Once you, especially once you reach end game, like I have for, I say end game, I mean pre ATV. So it's yeah, because end game is pretty hard to get, being free to play. Now at the end of the year, at Christmas time, well, say Christmas, I mean. The 1st of December to the 12th of December, I'll be doing the 12 days of Christmas YouTubing challenge, if that's a thing, that's a thing, if not, I just moved it up just then. Now, this means that every single day, for 12 days in a row, there will be a new game, so it will never be a duplicate of a game, so maybe last day on Earth, day 1, Terraria day 2, Call of Duty day 3, something like that, um, for those 12 days, which I think will be pretty cool, and if you guys got any suggestions for those 12 days then that shall be going ahead should consider those which um yeah it seemed pretty cool but um as you can see the campaign in the background we're doing some crate opening at the moment which I'm not too happy about but did you get some decent stuff like factory parts and uh, well white paint as you just saw then which some people say white paint is a lot so, let's say, English is hard. White paint is a lot more common than yellow paint. For me, it's the opposite way around. White paint is, as it's meant to be, the hardest paint to get. Yellow paint, pretty decent. Blue, black, red, green, yeah, all pretty common. But if you do want to see any tutorial videos on Season 17 here, as it is brand new, Week 2 has just started yesterday, I think. Yep, yesterday. Make sure to comment down below if you want to see that, and like to show your support as well. So, so, so I know you are liking these episodes, series, all of that jazz. So, yeah. And I guess I could, could commentate over this video a little bit. Um, you know, get ready for the 100 days event. Event, I just saw that and so I read that. 100 days video. Now there is... Now I can also do some videos, or even in one video about um, different tutorials like the classes for Terraria which currently in our 1.4 Master Mode Let's Play IMD Rangers class, so I can only use uh, bows, um, I think it's grenades, that's, and crossbows, that's it, crossbows, they're practically the only guns, I, I'd say guns, weapons I can use. In the official classes there is guns there too, but there was a gun single class I did have on the quote unquote rule of fortune, which didn't get so fortune ish. Um so that's why I'm not using guns and because it's pretty overpowered if you think about it. So I can go through the official classes and different strategies you can use, especially for master mode, as it is quite hard. Like that the hard way, no pun intended. Now I will be doing some tutorial videos for Last Day on Earth in the future in terms of more, how do I put this, survival, because I know a lot, a lot of people, a lot of new people do start off the game, don't get very far, because there's not too much of a tutorial at the beginning in game, gives you a couple of tips, tools to use to get you started, but in terms of progression, not really much here. Now, obviously, you can watch YouTube videos like most people do, or you can learn the hard way, which is what I did to begin with before I restarted my accounts because last day on Earth did update the game and give everyone a better start by providing them a house, some basic loot, and some basic uh, workbenches. So, there's that. And if you don't hear my story of last day on Earth, then comment that down below and like. And subscribe, you know the drill. Um, because it's pretty interesting what's happened and 
what's been going on really and this update 1.17 I do say to be the least the second or probably almost the best update in terms of rewards the second best or tied first something like that is season 15 that was really really good for free to play plays um but season 16 was not so much I had to use a ton and I mean a ton of weaponry to that and I did not get much in return which is what I don't like about some of these updates um, obviously season 3 being what I'd like to say the biggest content update out there with introducing the ATV the swamps and the bunker bravo which also unlocks so much more like lead plates and all of that and new enemies as well I think that introduces CBRN armor too I think I could be wrong, could definitely be wrong, but I think that's what happened. Now, and if you want to see a tutorial on how to kill the big one, make sure to stay tuned in about a year's time when I get enough weaponry to do so, because that guy is hard to kill. Probably the hardest boss I'd say to kill before the Boratory Hard Mode, because the Boratory Hard Mode Carry On Mark 6. Four, I think can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but that boss is extremely hard to do. Now, as you can see in the footage in the background here, I'm about to pick up a red ticket, so that's what's right. Now, these num zombies in this event do drop bunker alpha loot, so green tickets, yellow tickets, and red tickets. Now, I only got yellow tickets and red tickets, which I'm not complaining about because red tickets are obviously the better loot. I still have to go kill the blind one. When we do do that, I'll have another red ticket crate opening to do, which will be excellent. Because, you know, I actually haven't got swarm from red ticket crates for a long, long time. Which is almost sad, really. But as you can see here, about to come up will be a unexpected zombie slash boss, which is extremely dangerous and extremely powerful. It's sort of like the feathered corpse, but worse and more unexpected because it actually does not come up as a zombie on the minimap which you guys are just about to see and this cave is actually a cave from one is in season 14 or season 13 kind of exactly. as you can see now the zombie did not come up in the minimap and that gust does 20 damage a hit which is every two seconds i think and this guy does have 500 health and seven damage I do have military armor on, so somewhat, so pretty heavy hitter, pretty dangerous if you do get caught in that gas. And drop some pretty decent loot like anti rad peels, gas, wrenches, all that sort of jazz. So that is looking pretty well. And there was other stuff in this, like, especially with the week 2, having the factory finally unlocked, which gives so much more loot. But the second time, which I have not got on video, make sure to bring a full set of like military or SWAT armor, medkits, and your big guns, so AKs, Kalashnikovs, as they're called, or M16s, even scars, because you do get captured by three, well not captured, but you do get, sort of, I don't know, get, your gun, get guns pointed at you by three guys, with one's got an M16, I think one's got a katana, can't remember what another guy's got, but three of them onto you straight on, which is not helpful. Now, with me, I did not run away. Should have, could have, would have, but I didn't. So that was unfortunate. I did die to that, and if you do die to it, you will lose that event. So I do not know what happens after that. Now, as you can see here, there's a chopper, aka, well, a helicopter. This helicopter is the first helicopter I think that we have seen. In last day on Earth, or the closest we have gotten to one. Now, this, as I uh, was a rocket who just said that, go back to her helicopter. Now, this could be something that could really hook on to last day on Earth, as bringing out the MI 24 helicopter, which will gain us access to the oil rig looking object place, I guess, past the dead island, sorry, past the watchtower which is at the quarry, which I will show you in a later video or, or, and, it will unlock Bunker Charlie 
therefore I think every single location will now be able to reach which is excellent and DMI 24 helicopter also means tungsten bars tungsten bars are currently not in the game which is why we don't have DMI 24 helicopter which I think if I do recall that means we should be getting tungsten bars soon I reckon by season 20 so start of next year -ish, sort of mid next year -ish, we'd have, we should have tungsten bars which is going to be a massive, and I mean a massive, part of this game. Well, that was awkward, wasn't it? Anyway, so back to what we were saying. There was a lot of permanent content yet to come, like the MI-24 helicopter, the Dragonov, Bunker Charlie, Tungsons we just went over. We've got other bunkers, like Bunker Zulu, Bunker... Delta, which we got the cards for, not even a sneak peek at them, which is pretty unfortunate. All else was like Northern City Ruins, which is a big one, which we'll talk about in a later episode. Same with the second base, the second floor, and all that sort of stuff. Now, that is it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment down below what I said, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.